Today we're here to celebrate International Women's Day and I'm pleased to join my colleague Bronnie Taylor, the New South Wales Government Minister for Women. So International Women's Day is all about taking the time to celebrate the exceptional achievements of women and everything they do, from the paddock to the boardroom and the building site to the family home. But not just today, every single day of the year because there are so many incredibly talented women and young girls leading the way in their chosen sport. They are making sure that New South Wales is represented on the national and the international stage. The New South Wales Institute of Sport is a lead agency for high performance sport. And the New South Wales Government is proud of the pathway it provides for talented women and girls to develop into the world's best athletes. That's so right, Jeff. And this year's theme for International Women's Day is to choose to challenge. So today, we're delighted to have N-Swiss athletes and staff preparing for the Tokyo Olympic and the Paralympic Games, who will join us in raising our hands and committing to challenging gender inequality. This International Women's Day, choose to challenge the inequality of sport. Whether in the boardroom or on the field of play, I want to see a world where girls and women are given the same opportunities to be bold, ambitious and successful in any sporting endeavour they choose to participate in. We can all make a difference to be open-minded and more inclusive, and International Women's Day is a fantastic reminder of that. All the way from grassroots to the elite level, sport has a wonderful way of improving wellbeing, bringing communities together, promoting leadership and encouraging inclusivity. It's great to see so many talented and dedicated women and girls flying the flag for Australian sport. And I'm delighted to see that many of these role models come from regional New South Wales. We're committed to building a safer and a stronger New South Wales, and this means enabling women by increasing opportunities to participate and making sure that every woman and girl can enjoy their sport to the fullest, feeling at ease before and after they hit the field. I'm proud to have filled the Head of Movement Science position at NSWIS, leading a team of technical sports scientists who deliver insights that enhance elite athletic performance on the world stage. In Tokyo, I'll be leading the performance analysis delivery for the Australian Olympic team. Through roles like this, I'm committed to continually pushing the boundaries for women in our industry to ensure equal opportunity across all disciplines, including coaching, management and sports science. We've seen great strides towards equality in sport, and I'm committed to furthering supporting our pathways for women to excel in all aspects of sport. An excellent example is the New South Wales Government Her Sport Her Way grant program which helps state sporting organisations assist women to fulfil their sporting dreams. With applications now open, I encourage all eligible organisations to apply and support our next generation of female Olympic and Paralympic stars. I encourage all girls and women from grassroots to Olympics to continually choose to challenge the social norms, to break inequality and to be uncompromisingly excellent in all that you do. Thank you to Ellen, Nicola and Tamara and Minister Taylor for joining us today and we wish you a safe and successful Games campaign in Tokyo. Please join us for celebrating the incredible role women play in the community and choosing to challenge the barriers, foster resilience and spearhead change. Happy International Women's Day 